This is Math 114, Test Number 1 Packet, and it's Part 1. It goes with Chapter 1, Introduction to Data. And down at the bottom, it says in the textbook, Essential Statistics, Exploring the World Through Data, is referenced throughout this packet. And so let's get started with Chapter 1.1, What are Data? I'm going to start with two definitions of statistics. Statistics is the science of collecting, organizing, analyzing, and interpreting data. Statistics is a science, and arguably also the art, of learning from data. As a discipline, it is concerned with the collection, analysis, and interpretation of data, as well as the effective communication and presentation of results relying on data. Statistics lies at the heart of the type of quantitative reasoning necessary for making important advances in the sciences, such as medicine and genetics, and for making important decisions in business and public policy. So the question is, why study statistics? From medical studies to research experiments, from satellites continuously orbiting the globe to social network sites like Facebook or MySpace, from polling organizations to United Nations observers, data are being collected everywhere and all the time. Knowledge and statistics provides you with the necessary tools and conceptual foundations and quantitative reasoning to extract information intelligently from this sea of data. And from the Department of Statistics, statistics is a scientific discipline in which statisticians assist other scientists and researchers to make informed decisions in the face of uncertainty. Second definition, statistics are the data that describe or summarize something. So data is everywhere. Since data are the building blocks of statistics, we will start our discussion with the basic types of data that we will encounter. We also look at how data is collected, stored, and organized. And just one last quote before we get started. Statistical thinking will one day be as necessary for efficient, efficient citizenship as the ability to read and write. All right, so our second question here. Where have you seen statistics used before? There's lots of different places you've probably encountered them, uh, from professional sports. You may have seen this used to rank teams, rank your college team, rank players. Um, you'll see it in commercials. Oftentimes you'll hear an ad that says nine out of 10 dentists prefer a particular toothpaste. Um, college rankings, if you're interested in transferring to a college, statistics may be being used to rank those colleges. Uh, you might see it in political polls. It can be used to discuss climate change. It can be used in market research to determine how effective particular advertising is. And another example, you might also, it might also be used to decide whether new drugs or treatments are effective in treating cancer. Right, number three, what are data? Data are observations that you or someone else records, but they aren't just numbers, they are numbers or categories that are collected in a context. So for example, the following is just a list of numbers. You got three, five, six, eight, and 12. But if I tell you that the ages of your children, then they're data, since we're considering the story behind the numbers. All right, so let's collect some data. How many text messages have you sent today? So if I go around the room and the first student says, well, I haven't sent any, zero is going to be the first number on our list. Second student says five. Next student says six. We've got another student that says three. And another student that says two. And we can stop there. So there's our collection of data. That's how many text messages the students in this classroom have sent today. Right, so for next question, did every student in our class send out the same number of text messages today? Nope. There were a lot of differences in that list. And hopefully our answer is no. This illustrates one of the major concepts in the study of statistics, and that's variation or variability. Variability refers to the phenomenon of a variable taking on different values or categories from one person or object to the next. What would happen if the world were perfectly predictable and had no variability? Well, for one thing, we wouldn't need statistics. Uh, we would have no uncertainty. We wouldn't need it at all. All, all baseball players would have the same batting average. All dentists would prefer the same toothpaste. All colleges would be identical. You wouldn't need rankings. Everyone would vote the same way. We wouldn't need polls. We wouldn't need elections in that case either. And so we'll stop there. Your next video will cover section 1.2, classifying and storing data.